This is the Enokim Light 2, a contender in the burgeoning ultra portable category of electric scooters. And in this review, we're gonna find out whether this scooter is over designed and overpriced or a real contender in the category. This is Chuck with Electric Scooter Guide, the leading source for electric scooter reviews. Please support our channel by sharing, subscribing, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. This comprehensive review will cover all the standard categories, price, performance, portability including a trunk test, how to lock up the scooter, ride quality, build quality including a drop test, safety features, overall pros and cons, and who should buy this ultra portable and who needs something else. However, we are also going to have a special guest segment where Vienna will give her unique perspective on this scooter. Enokim is one of the pioneers of the modern electric scooter industry and you can find copies of their designs in major markets around the world. But make no mistake, Enokim is one of a kind. Today, we are going to review the Light 2, their 30 pound or 13.6 kilogram ultra portable option. We will be comparing the Enokim Light to the ultra portable U Scooters Booster GT 2020, the somewhat portable Unagi Model 1, and the ultra popular value based stalwart, the Xiaomi M365. But real quick, I want to go over some definitions. When we say ultra portable, we are talking about scooters 30 pounds, which is 13.6 kilograms or less, that also have folding handlebars, allowing them to be picked up easily and fit into tight spaces. Scooters that are light, but do not have folding handlebars, we consider portable, but not ultra portable. Similarly, scooters that are closer to 40 pounds or 18 kilograms, but have folding handlebars are, again, considered portable, just not ultra portable. I hope that makes sense. But first the basics. The Light 2 retails for $1,200, but check our coupon code for a massive discount. It has a tested top speed of nearly 21 miles per hour for a tested range of 16 miles. It weighs in at 30 pounds and holds riders up to 220 pounds or 100 kilograms. The Enokim Light 2 is a premium electric scooter with a premium price tag of $1,200. The other ultra portable GT comes in a bit less expensive at $1,089, while the dual motor Unagi Model 1 comes in a bit less at $990 and the ultra value Xiaomi around $400. As with Enokim's bigger brothers, the light is tuned for a more, how can I say, leisurely acceleration. Rather than having all the torque at the beginning of the acceleration curve, this scooter starts off slower. Then you gradually feel the pull getting stronger as you get to higher speeds. You can see the Unagi with its dual motors will get you off the line quickest, followed by the 700 watt E2W GT. We tested the top speed of the Enokim to be 20.7 miles per hour. This is a bit slower than the top speed of the GT, but beats the other comparison scooters. You can see the acceleration curve is steepest until about 18 miles per hour, getting there in just 8.7 seconds. Those next two miles per hour will take another 8.9 seconds, so 18 to 19 miles per hour really is the sweet spot for this scooter. From a standstill, the Light 2 was able to get up the 200 foot 10% average grade hill climb in 19 seconds with an average speed of 7.2 miles per hour. This is expected with a 350 watt motor and a 165 pound or 74.8 kilogram rider. You can also see this is where the dual 250 watt motors of the Unagi really shine, coming in six and a half seconds faster. The Enokim Light 2 has a better braking system than all other comparison scooters, including all ultra portables, with a dual drum brake configuration, which gave us a stopping distance of just under 12 feet from 15 miles per hour. In fact, the Light 2 is the only scooter we've seen with a dual mechanical brake setup all the way until you get to the Turbo Wheel Swift or 09, which are both around 40 pounds or 18.1 kilograms. 
Finally, when it comes to range, this ultra portable does not disappoint with a tested range of exactly 16 miles. This narrowly beats the previous best in class U Scooters Booster GT by 0.8 miles or 1.3 kilometers and makes it the longest range ultra portable on the market today. If you'd like to compare the performance of the Light 2 against any of the other electric scooters we've tested, check out our performance page on the website. According to our definition of ultra portable, the 30 pound or 13.6 kilogram Enochem Light barely squeaks by. This is light enough to carry it up a few flights of stairs before considering it a workout. When folded, the Light 2 has quite a small footprint extending only 37 inches, which is 94 centimeters, making it 8 inches or 20 centimeters shorter than the Booster GT and Xiaomi and on par with the smaller E2W offerings and the Unagi. The width of the Light, including the kickstand, is about 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters, allowing you to easily fit it under a disc at work or even in some shopping carts. This is the ESG trunk test. Let's see if this bad boy fits. I'll just one hand it. And obviously an ultra portable should easily fit in the trunk. And as you can see, it's just no problem. 37 inches long, I mean, you could fit a bunch of them in the trunk. So easily, easily passes the ESG trunk test. No problems. One of the really nice things about Enokim design is that they actually remembered a place to lock the scooter up. So as you can see here, in this area, you have this nice giant loop that is super easy for any kind of lock to fit through and lock up. Enokim is known for comfortable ride quality over performance specs, and this model is no exception. When stepping onto the scooter, the first thing you'll notice is the low deck height of 4.25 inches or 10.8 centimeters with ground clearance at two and a quarter inches, which is 5.7 centimeters. The obvious downside to the low deck is that you cannot go off curbs slowly. However, the massive upside is better handling and stability at all speeds. For comparison, the U scooters have a deck clearance of three inches, 7.6 centimeters, and deck height of 5 inches, 12.7 centimeters. When it comes to ride comfort, the larger deck, the better. Deck dimensions for the Enokim are 18.3 inches long by 7 inches wide, which is 46.5 centimeters by 17.8 centimeters. This is not quite as long as the GT, but it is wider. Overall, the deck has a larger surface area than any ultra portable on the market and beats out all of today's comparison scooters. After getting on the scooter, you'll notice the handlebars are slightly curved towards you and wrapped in a high quality hard foam type material. The foam is grippy and helps to avert hand strain over long rides. When turning on the scooter, you'll see the display will keep your settings, including the gear. So there should be nothing you need to do before riding. Now Enokim has the best throttle unit in the game, in my opinion. It is perfectly placed doesn't slip, and is extremely comfortable on long rides. You'll need to gently kick off and then press on the accelerator to activate the scooter. There is no zero start function. However, unlike the sometimes frustrating startup experience on the Xiaomi, the Enochim is quite intuitive and easy to manage. When first accelerating, the speed is not jarring like that on other scooters. Many scooters give you 100% power right from the start. Those looking for a thrilling experience will appreciate this, but as the electric scooter market matures, there will be many riders that will want comfortable acceleration. Now that's not to say that you don't feel any torque. The Light 2 feels more torquey as you gain speed and beginner riders will want to stay in mode 1 or 2 while learning before allowing for the maximum top speed of nearly 21 miles per hour in mode 3. Now, there is a trade-off in the ultra portable category when it comes to overall damping. You can either have pneumatic tires with no suspension or solid tires with suspension, like the E2W series. The Enokim Light 2 employs the former pneumatic tires with no suspension. While pneumatic tires do have damping effects, 
The pneumatic tires will also have much better performance than solid tires with the downside that they can get flat. However, if you do get a flat, rest assured the light employs a split rim so tire changes will not make you pull your hair out. The dual drum brake handles are well made and with nice grips. They are very linear with a good amount of travel for slowing down at any desired rate. They will have more stopping power than any other scooter under 40 pounds, 18 kilograms, so I would recommend a one foot forward stance rather than a side by side stance I sometimes see. Hi everyone, this is Vienna. I'm so glad to be here to talk about my riding experience with Inokin Light. So far I have probably ridden more than 30 screws as Chuck in this business. It's a blessing, but uh, at the beginning I didn't really like it because at some point there were like seven screws parking in my living room, which caused a bit of trouble between my cats and plants and everything. However, that actually really gave me a chance to test out different scooters. I have like a few things I really like about this scooter first of all is the appearance i i really 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 like the design if you look at the side of the scooter it reminds me of a really well designed sword it just looks so sleek and shiny it just looks pretty so when you are thinking about the electric scooter the first the thing that came to my mind is like utilitarian masculine bulky thing Let's just take all the spaces in my living room. However, this scooter looks like a very good design, high technology stuff. It's like a Mac. It, it just looks really good. This scooter weighs around like 30 pounds, which is probably right at the cut off of if I'm willing to put in the car or like oh, right now we live on our second floor apartment yeah I can carry a 30 pound for a couple minutes no problem yeah that's very very important I really really enjoy the low deck so I am a snowboarder if you have snowboarded or like skate before when you lower your body you feel like you're more in control that's how I feel about this scooter I feel more comfortable riding 20 miles per hour on this scooter comparing to just a different one this scooter runs very smoothly like I have a sport car that runs like very smoothly you don't really feel like jerky or jumpy that's how I feel about riding this scooter like overall it's just like a really really good quality uh, scooter that you feel it's like a higher end yeah, it's definitely not their $400 or $600 riding share scooters you can see on the street. And I was talking to Chuck like where I spend those, that much money on it really depends, right? Like, so I ride for leisure purpose um, and all, also I have tested so many different scooters. I actually personally would spend this much money on this one just because I noticed those nuances and those are very important to me. Yeah, overall, I just feel like it's very good quality. The last thing I want to share with everybody is during this COVID time I really feel it's a great time to introduce scooters to your loved ones maybe take your partner to go or ride with you because like there are like way less cars on the street and I feel way safer to ride comparing to before and I'm very comfortable riding at 20 miles per hour or even quicker sometimes riding and the speed of it it just like light up the day in a way hopefully everybody could find the time enjoy the riding either by yourself or with the loved ones all right, everybody, thanks for listening. This is Vienna. Ride safe and wear your helmet. I'll be back. Enochem scooters are among the best in the world when it comes to build quality. However, the E2W comparison scooters are also right up there. Both brands would be rated higher than the Unagi or the M365. We really appreciate the novel stem design. The stem has an interesting blade design that gives the scooter a unique look but is also functional. Elongating the stem in the direction that you push and pull on the handlebars creates additional strength and stiffness in the direction that you need it and this contributes to the overall feeling of stability when riding. It also helps the stem not to twist, something other scooters with round necks are prone to experiencing. Finally, when carrying the scooter, the blade style fits nicely into smaller hands. Enokim really nails even the smallest details, like the covers to the wheels. Compared to other scooters which have a plastic fender or a rubber cap, Enokim created something that looks good and is functional. This is the essence of design. When we say Enokim are the best designed scooters, this is the type of thing we're referring to. Materials from top to bottom are top notch and we have had zero issues with the scooter, something rare as we always find something to complain about. 
The bright cables are routed well and are not crimped. Fenders are perfectly placed and don't rub the wheels. The Light 2 maintains Enokim's reputation for outstanding build quality. I suppose the only small gripe I can come up with is that the handlebars when locked in place have the slightest amount of vertical movement. This is the ESG drop test. Drop number one. Drop number two. Drop number three. Passes the ESG drop test, no problems. The Enokim Light 2 gets a very high safety rating and would beat out every other ultra portable on the market for two main reasons. First, it has dual pneumatic tires which are the safest variety and which no other ultra portable offers. These tires will give you more grip when cornering and in wet conditions or when encountering highly topographic road conditions. Second. The light has not just one mechanical brake, something only a few months ago we started seeing on the E2 WGT, but it actually has two, giving it the best rating for emergency stopping power, not only among ultra portables, but for any scooter below 40 pounds, 18 kilograms. Beyond these two differentiators, it has all the additional safety features we look for in an electric scooter. It has a bell mounted on the left handlebar and front and rear lights, both of which blink when you activate the rear brake and turn on automatically when it gets dark. Interestingly enough, they don't blink if you activate only the front brake, but we should all know by now that this is a big no-no and you should never activate the front brake by itself. The front light is not very bright and mounted low, so we would recommend picking up some aftermarket lights to mount it higher. You can find the links to the lights that we use in the video description. Finally, there is a lever that acts as a backup just in case the pin into the stem lock isn't secured properly. Many scooters have this style of stem lock, but very few include a lever for an added level of confidence when riding. Overall pros for this scooter include top-notch build quality, fantastic design, longest range for an ultra portable, safest ultra portable, and comfortable and intuitive riding experience. Overall cons for this scooter include low deck clearance potentially causing scrapes when going down curves, lackluster acceleration and hill climbing ability, and it's more expensive than other ultra portables. This scooter is for someone who values design. That is how form meets function. It is for someone who not only wants a great ride, but also wants to look good while riding. It is for someone who wants a light scooter that they can easily pick up and fit into small spaces. This scooter is not for someone who has a lot of steep hills on their commute. It is not for someone over 220 pounds or 100 kilograms. And it is not for someone who wants to feel the rush of acceleration off the line. This is not for someone looking for the best value based on specifications only. The Enokim Light 2 is an absolute contender in not just the ultra portable category, but at any weight below 40 pounds, 18 kilograms. While it might be on the more expensive side based on performance, it is in a league of its own when it comes to design, ride quality, build quality, and safety features. If you are interested in the Enochem Light 2, check out the video description for a coupon code to save you some cash. If you like this video, share it with your friends, give it a thumbs up, and to get all of the latest electric scooter news and reviews, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, ride safe and don't forget to wear your helmet. If you're interested in a feature-packed, high-performance ultra portable, check out our recent review of the E2W U-Scooters Booster GT 2020. And if you're interested in the next level up Enokim scooter, check out our review of one of my favorite scooters to ride, the Enokim Ox.